Capricorns, welcome back to my channel and welcome all my new people here. Hopefully you decide to stick around uh, if you want to see future readings or my lives where I actually take personal questions, make sure that you hit the notification bell as well. That's the only way for some reason YouTube likes to send notifications out, okay? Uh, <laughs> also, if you want a personal service with me, I do offer those. Check the description. My other social medias will be there, my YouTube, all of that, my other YouTubes. And let's jump into your reading Capricorns. First card we have is meditate. So there's a lot of thinking that's happening over the next couple of days. What I will say is make sure you're not going into these spaces of letting your mind wander into dark places or <laughs> focusing on more so the dark or the worst case scenarios, because this could be doing more of a disservice and creating more anxiety, to be honest. I feel like there's this huge sense, and it's so funny that past life came out too with this. There's this huge sense of you guys starting to realize who you are or what's not a part of who you are, especially in terms of the people that you connect, connect to, uh, the things that you've been connecting with. And the way that I'm taking this past life card, this feels more so like you guys wanting to get back to who you were before you met someone or before you started partaking in drinking or partaking in smoking or whatever this may be, who you were in a past version. You could be wanting to identify more with that version at this moment. This could be causing you to make some critical changes over the next couple of weeks, next couple of months. It just feels like you guys are wanting to get back to who you are. And there's going to be this nudge, this push to do so. Look at that. We have the new life. So it's taking an older version of you that you admire and creating a new version of that in the present. But not only that, I'm picking up this sense that some of my Capricorns, you could have vivid dreams of a past life. And this is very specific. You could find yourself having some very vivid dreams um, in regards to a past life or even past life um, karmic connections. So you could be wondering, like, why am I thinking about this person? Or not thinking, but why am I dreaming about this person? And it could be because this person's connected to some sort of past life karma. But anywho, I just get this sense that my Capricorns are stepping into a space of doing them. <laughs> like this just feels like I'm going to be doing me. I'm unapologetic about that. It is what it is. And your spirit guides are covering you guys like no other. Like, I just keep getting this huge sense of you having some sort of ancestor around you, especially uh, with the guides showing up here. Now, let's pull some more cards. Let's pull from here. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, so we have honor your inner child. Let's read this really quick. It says, focus on your inner child's needs. Is your inner child afraid or in need of more playtime? Cherish this precious being within you. So I also get this sense, like I said, you want to get back to who you were at one point. There could be certain hobbies, certain things that you were interested in in the past. And because you've been caught up in a, a new relationship, uh, changes just overall around your life, this could be taken away from your or took away from your ability to do those things that you did as a child or um, before the pandemic. I don't even know if we could say that word on YouTube because they, they're so sensitive with that. But yeah, there could be things that you just did before that you just want to do again. And this could bring you to a, a place of equal equilibrium if I can say the word this is going to bring you to a place of equilibrium we also have appreciate the beauty of the moon to calm and center yourself to simplify 
simplify to simply experience awe gaze at the moon tonight absorb the purity of her energy and sublime presence so just beyond what this card is saying with the moon this represents emotions this represents illusions the unknown okay intuition I feel like there's a need for you guys to appreciate that aspect of yourself, the aspect of yourself in terms of your shadow side, uh, getting in tune with that, not, not running away from it. This is also embracing your feelings, embracing the unknown in terms of the path that you could be taking or compelled to take in terms of leaving that relationship or, you know, starting that new business. This is allowing yourself to not be in fear of the unknown, but more so embracing it and finding the beauty in it. And then the last card we have here from this deck, we have let go of being a martyr. Find a balance between giving and receiving. It's not healthy to give so much that you feel ill or exhausted. So if you have any relationship in your life as of right now where the give and take is off, it's going to start to feel that way it's going to start to feel as if you are compromising yourself or that you're not putting yourself first. And this is beyond just financial, uh, in a financial way. This could be in an emotional way. This could be you always being that person to support others and they're not willing to do the same. Hmm. I definitely get the sense of boundaries also being put in place. You guys are not playing <laughs> when it comes to not letting, you know, family members, friends just try to sling you in situations that you don't necessarily want to be in. All right. So what else is going on with my Capricorns? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right. So we have Strengthening Bonds. We have win or lose. We have lead and we have detach. So yes, definitely cutting people off who play mind games. This could be a father figure, the father of your children, a divine masculine in your life. This could even be you deciding to leave a job where you have a boss that, that gaslights you and tries to pick at your performance or try to micromanage you or even bully you in terms of just speak any way that they feel compelled to speak to you. So you could be deciding to separate yourself from that, especially if it's been doing a lot of damage to your mental health. I also feel like a lot of my Capricorns are just saying no more. Like you're no longer deciding to exhaust yourself in battles that just seem hard to win or impossible to win, especially with a, a partner who could be a little bit controlling or they have their idea of how things should be and they don't take in consideration of how you feel. Yeah, it just feels like you're, you're taking your energy back for you. And this is not in a negative sense. It's in the sense of, I have a plan. I have an idea of where I want to be in the next two years, year, five years, and I have to make preparation now. So this is a beautiful reading. I actually like this energy for you Capricorns. I hope that you took something from this video. If you did, definitely feel free to thumbs up, thumbs it up, excuse me, and check out the description if you want a reading and I will see you in the next one.